Welcome to this Dalton EID instructional video for the easy setup and use of the English version Trading Standards Sheep, Horse and Cattle Inspection Kit. After establishing what was needed during and after a Trading Standards inspection visit, Dalton EID has designed a simple to use mobile inspection kit. Contained in one heavy duty carry case, making it easy to store and handy to use. The kit contains the following. A handheld rechargeable reader with a mains charger cable. A mobile rechargeable printer supplied with its own specific mains charger and complete with two paper rolls. An in-car charger for the reader and an emergency power supply cradle for the printer. The kit also contains sample electronic tags for testing and are customising yourself with the system. These have the country code set to 999 and cannot be used on animals. There are three different types of antenna and your kit will have been supplied with one or more depending on what your requirements are. The most popular is the short loop antenna. It's generally the correct length to conveniently read the tags in a sheep's ear and it's omnidirectional, making it ideal when reading a bolus or a subcutaneous horse transponder. There is also the long ferrite antenna, which can be used for more specific jobs such as reading cattle through the slats of a trailer and the short ferrite antenna for desktop work or horses as it's unlikely to be mistaken for a stick which could cause the animal to shy away. The audio beep, which indicates a read, can also be turned off if necessary. When attaching or replacing the antennas, the reader unit should be returned to the main menu and turned off first. So, start by turning the unit on. Press the on-off button found at the bottom left-hand side of the keypad. A trading standards welcome screen is shown. Then the first screen appears, showing the main menu. From here, you will have five easy options which can be chosen by scrolling down to the desired option and pressing enter. The five options which are designed around an inspection visit are Visit details. This should always be the first information entered as it creates the unique record. Press the plus symbol where you'll be asked if you wish to create a new record. Press the enter key. From this screen you will have four input fields to record the details of any one particular visit. The first input field is for the holding number, although any unique reference number can be put here too. For example, the number plate of a trailer or the pen number at an auction or mart. It might be the case that the farmer has two or three holdings under one holding number and in this instance a one, two or three can be entered after the CPH number to indicate which holding it is. This field can be up to ten digits long. Proceed to input the CPH ref number. Then use the direction key to move down to the next input field, which is Keeper. Here, enter the Keeper's surname, initials or any other reference name. Then press Enter again to go to the next input field. Inspector. Here, the Inspector should enter their initials or name and press Enter again to go to the last input field. Species. Here, you can press any number key on the keypad to find the drop-down menu. Then you can choose sheep, horse or cattle by using the scroll up or down arrows. Press enter and the visit details screen is now complete. Press the back key to return to the main menu screen. The next option on the menu screen is read animals. Select this option using the scroll down arrow button and press enter. On this screen you can start to read the animals electronic tags, bolus or transponder by holding the antenna close to the tag and pressing the read button which is on the bottom right hand side of the keypad. You will hear a beep and the green light will flash to indicate a successful read and if the tag is a duplicate you'll hear a double beep and the red light will flash. 
An animal with a duplicate tag will not be recorded to the database and the message transponder already exists will be flashed up. As each tag is read, the display will then show all of the required details, which are the country code. This will be translated as GB unless it's incorrect. If that's the case, the encoded country or maker's code will be shown. Then the EID number in full and then the species code, making it easy to detect any incorrectly tagged animals. For sheep, the species code is 04, for instance. The screen will also display the re-tag counter. If the animal has been re-tagged with a replica tag, for example, printed and encoded with the same number as the lost tag, it will be encoded with a re-tag counter to show how many times this has occurred. And finally, for the read animal section, is the VID input field at the bottom of the screen. This allows a visual ID or name to be entered, for example, a management number or a horse's name. The date and time of every tag is also recorded, but not shown on the screen. Once all details are recorded, press the backspace key to save and return to the main menu.